Hi, it's Chris from Chris and the Credit Pouring. We're based in East Sussex in the UK and thank you for joining me today. This painting was slightly cursed. I managed to run my fingers through it twice, but it's actually turned out really beautiful. I hope you enjoy it. For some reason, I'm always excited to be using the crimson, so I was excited today. I'm doing a graduated sky, starting with the dark sky, mid sky and light sky with lots of yellows and crimson colours. The little pot is going to have the metallic gold in there and then the other two cups are going to have um, sea colours, blue colours. You may be able to tell from this voiceover but I've got a really terrible head cold so everything's nasally and I sound terrible but I wanted to get this video out because it turned out so Gorgeous. So for the sea colours, I'm using phthalo blue, iridescent silver, cerulean blue, Prussian blue, phthalo blue, and some Payne's grey, and a wee bit of white. For the sky cups, I used a combination of Naples yellow, the lush crimson, a wee bit of the raw sienna, Payne's grey, and in the last cup, I added cerulean blue. And I knew that this was going to be sandwiched between the crimson and would create a kind of deep purpley color, or that was the theory anyway. To get the graduated effect, I just used dark, more darker colors as I went across. I started flipping all my cups, and the first cup I was thinking, don't go over the edge, and I did manage to go over to the, the edge. So I just used the paint that spilled out to do some of the edges. And then I just worked down the canvas, flipping my cups, trying to be as careful as possible. And then I let them sit on the canvas just for a couple of minutes. I gave them all a little drum roll for good luck. I started with the first cup and did the pull back and I managed to shove most of it off the canvas. So that cup was definitely doomed. The C cups didn't have the same amount of paint in them and they were slightly too thick. You can see that the runs aren't going as far as the other colours and this is going to be a problem when tilting. I didn't want to use my torch at this stage so I just used a toothpick to get rid of the air bubble. The bubbles. Bubbles. I can't speak. I rotated the canvas and I started doing my tilting and I just used this edge first because it was easy to cover. Most of the paint was there. And I just do this stage really slowly. I'm doing a straight lift because I'm trying to keep lines. I will speed up the video now. some bare canvas showing at the bottom outer edges so I'm just going to tilt the canvas from left to right to try and cover these and I'm just keeping an eye on what's happening with the rest of the paint obviously the lines are going to curve slightly and these are all tip over I 
I didn't quite spread the paint enough, so I decided to add some more cerulean blue, and I was just going to stretch this out a bit. And then, disaster, I just ran my fingers through the bottom of the painting, and I was like, I just couldn't believe it. So I carried on with the top, and then I had to fix the bottom part, and the only way I could think of getting rid of those scrape marks was running some crimson paint directly onto the canvas and then some of the cerulean blue. I really couldn't believe that I had been so clumsy and ran my fingers through the paint. But luckily, just adding paint at this stage was relatively straightforward to do. And because I'm doing lines, I wasn't breaking up too much of the pattern. I was just creating more lines. And to incorporate the paint into the other paint, I also used a side of a wooden stirrer and just poured this through the paint and just tried to incorporate any marks that I had made. Here's the dried canvas and it's looking fab now. What I hadn't realised was I also had made some marks in the blue paint, so I had to do a few touch-ups by hand to make it look as good as it is now. But I'm really pleased with the end result. The blues and the silvers, as ever, always look fab. And then you've got this wonderful gold metallic section, which could be the horizon or um, sand. And then you lead into the lovely pale yellows and the crimsons. And everything, luckily, did turn out nicely. I hope you've enjoyed this croquis creation video. The end painting was really gorgeous and I'm always really pleased to be using the crimson colour. If you would like to see further paintings or videos, please do subscribe. Take care and we'll speak to you soon. Bye.